So hey guys, once again this is Chris and this time I'm going to be doing a quick review before I install it of this. If you don't know what this is, this is called an SBC. This is a single board computer. Uh, this one is manufactured by a company called Comwell. It's a uh, Taiwan, I think. And uh, this one's the FS. 97C GME. This will run off of ISA or PCI. Why would I want to run that? Industrial applications, you might have a bunch of control cards, you might need a computer. This has a Core 2 Duo rocking along with uh, DDR2 uh, 667. It'll hold up to about 3 gigs of RAM. These guys here, which you might be thinking are like so dim memory slots, they're not. They are uh, micro PCI cards so yeah it has dual uh, gigabit Ethernet it has a PS2 slash combo splitter for a PS2 uh, keyboard mouse standard uh, 15 pin VGA and it has uh, of course a header for like CD audio and another CD audio uh, Molex style. It also has uh, a five, a four pin Molex power. It already came, which is really cool. It came with organic polymer caps already, and these purple guys are Toshiba's. So they're uh, and you can get Panasonic's in purple too. So that is a really cool thing too. Uh, it has a massive heat sink on, I believe, what is the GPU, and it'll do like. Intel Core 2, Core 2 Duo, the Celeron M's. It has all these headers for like LVDS, uh, DVI, HDMI. So you can put pinouts for different video connectors here. I guess I would have. It would help to kept my pointing little uh, scraper dude. It has two micro PCI slots here. I don't know what they're gonna be used for. AC97 audio, it also has regular uh, 1.44 meg floppy and hard drive support but it also comes with a compact flash slot so you could put uh, your compact flash card in here. It also has dual USB 2.0 headers so you could run some headers out and then uh, of course your standard Centronix printer port. It has a little fan, you can also, oh the serial ports too jumper the serial ports they can be done like three different ways so if if you wanted your RS-232 that's fine or you can have RS-422 or even 485 it has an infrared port on here somewhere I think it's like up here for like an IRDA sensor but nobody really uses that anymore what am I gonna do with this well I've been seeing several people toss these in their Amiga 2000s. So the 2000s is probably the most logical choice because it's my largest big box Amiga and it's uh, significantly longer than the old 4000 over there. But that right now is the FS97 CGME. For me there are many models of these if you're gonna do an eBay search and try and find one you can find them from industrial resellers they range from anywhere between a hundred to several hundred US dollars in 2020. Uh, you might be able to find one cheaper if it needs repair, but this one is tested working and shown working. I don't know, maybe I'll put like Windows XP on here for, I don't know, something. I really don't know. So, what are your thoughts? What do you think this should go in? I'm thinking the 2000 because it's going to fit and we'll have plenty of room for cooling if it gets even hot at all. I gotta plop some ouch, plop some ouch in there, plop some RAM in here, get it sorted. I'll show you guys it posting and what's going on. It's got a standard Phoenix BIOS and uh, I have to find a splitter for that thing. I believe I have one in the junk drawer somewhere. And we'll get it all set up and see how it works inside an Amiga. I almost forgot. It has two SATA ports too. So there's two SATA ones, 150 meg transfer rate. Uh, the Ultra ATA 100, you can do two devices off of this. Of course the floppy drive 
Uh, the audio codec ALC uh, 655, it's 5.1 channel audio, uh, compact flash, 40 pin, you know, disco module, CF Type 2s, because it's a little thicker, it'll do the Type 2 cards, so you can have the fat daddies that most of us are running now anyway, you can put an adapter on here, I don't really know yet, we're going to see what pans out, this thing is listed as 300 and... 38 millimeters by 122 millimeters so she's a big girl and she's a little thick on the sides and you know not not too bad and I paid a little bit over 100 bucks for this why I don't know so anyway that's it for now stay tuned for more thank you for watching as always and I hope you learned something